Thank you for watching this video. This tutorial video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com, your one-stop QuickBooks online learn and share blog. We also offer paid QuickBooks consulting. Just click the this consulting link and register to get an appointment for our paid service. So in this video, I'm going to focus on how can I assign a class to an invoice discount. The discount is showing at unclassified. Okay, so let's see uh, what we're talking here. All right, you have your invoice here, uh, like this one, and here's the uh, discount field, and here's the discount amount, and when you create something like this, this amount it will show as unclassified or not specified. It won't apply it against the uh, this class in here. So invoice is the class product sales and it won't apply against product sales class. It will just show as unclassified or not specified. So how to fix that one? So there's no way to do it in QuickBooks Online right now. So this one, it goes to non-classified as you saw it. So instead of using this field, uh, if you want to use this count, it's better to use this uh, as a line item in here, as a line item in here. So you need to create this count as separate item. And in here, let's say you want to give a, a $50 discount and use the product sales as your class in here, like this. Like this, that's what you have to do. All right, the invoice is still the same. As you can see here, I want to go back and delete this one and use this field one more time. It says $50. The invoice amount is uh, $220. As you can see here, this one is taxable, $250, and it computes tax line in here. That's $20. And then below that, the discount field there. So there is no taxable credit on the discount field. So you have to remember that one first, okay? Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make this is this comes from the s settings. So I'm gonna uh, later on we have to uh, not to use this field but for for now. I'm just gonna use this uh, this discount field and make this. $50 as a negative and make sure this one you make it non-taxable that's how you have to set it up I'll show you in a minute and use the same class so you still get the same number and so this one you're not gonna use it so the, this is the total fill is still the same the total amount is still the same and so you can put any anywhere you want it, 20% discount or whatever it is. So, and then if you have uh, more items, let's say this one is for one class, and if you have uh, another items for another sales, then you can always uh, create a subtotal in here. Add subtotal, see so as you can get the you know, subtotal right here. Get the subtotal, and if you add another one, you can do the same thing in here. The subtotal is pretty important here. So it will tell you, you know, here's your uh, gross amount and then discount that give you the subtotal. I'm going to save this. All right, I'm going to go to that report again one more time. I'm going to refresh this. As you can see here, it used to be one unclassified, not specified thing here. Now it's showing under uh, product sales. This is your class in here. So this is how you want to do it. Now let's go back to uh, item setup to see how it's done. So here's a discount one. So this is for the uh, product sales. And if you have, uh, uh, you know, a bunch of other items, you know, uh, product sales or different classes, then you have to set up a discount for each one of those. 
all right right here as you can see here this one is you don't want to set up as inventory so you want to set up as just the regular uh, non-inventory type uh, discount and in here the most important one is here don't check this is taxable box and here's your income account it will tell you where you want to subtract or show as your uh, discount uh, in, your, in your income statement so this is non-taxable the reason is let's think about it if you, let's say you go to Costco and uh, they have a TV and uh, they're gonna give you a hundred dollar discount let's say the price is five hundred dollars and when you look at the invoice they will charge you sales tax on that five hundred dollars and then subtract hundred dollars so it works the same way on this case too okay so this is how you have to do it just save it and close it that's it that's how to fix it all right subscribe to our YouTube channels it's VP controller we have two channels VP controller and new QBO like us on Facebook and visit our website newqbo.com you can just bookmark it